Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Najdi Jihad. Let's start a fabricating claim here on Madurai, if we can. If we can't. Can't reach it. It's too far away, apparently. So, in that case, we just declare war directly on Orissa. Although we have three free diplomats, so let's make sure that, um... We fabricate another claim, maybe, on Mali. What other high base tax provinces do you have? Six? Boer? Okay. We'll try that. And France. We should try to get a fabricated claim on Cameroon or something. Alright. So next month we'll declare war on them. Do we have a truce with you? We should be at war with you. No excuse to not be at war with the little guy. Let's go see just the two cores, the two claims rather. So as soon as these cores finish, we're gonna take land from Congo. We'll take land from Conan Borno, and uh, we're gonna continue to keep this war going with Castile. We can raise war taxes again. We're still ahead of time on military tech. Sounds perfectly reasonable to me. Military power for tons of money. It's a good deal. Vijayanagar has conceded defeat again. Britain just can't seem to make up their mind on how they actually want to do this war. I think we're safe to start combining heavies here. I don't think there's any significant navy over here that's going to be a big threat. We will gain piety. Lost another claim because I make too many of them and don't use them. Time to declare war on Orissa. Holy War. Mali might dishonor the call. We'll see. We need a leader. Something like that'll work. We're at war down here again. You're gonna go that way now instead. This army needs to spread out down here again. Mali did honor the call. This army's done. Okay, and then this army doesn't need to be up here anymore. Okay, that will work. I'm really annoyed that we don't have full... Actually, we do have 100% here now. Good. Uh, never mind then. Well, it turns out that we don't actually have to have boats there. However, we could be making more. I think it's the overextension that's hurting us right now. Missionaries are inactive. Coring is at pretty far, 65%. The French fleet is primarily over here. Orissa does have territory up here, too. Alright, let's go ahead and carpet siege him. Something like that I'll do. So far we have 16, 17... Somebody just left the coalition. We just got 20 heavies over here. 20 heavies versus 4 new heavies. We should be able to win that. Peace offer from Genoa. Nope. Not yet. Oh, now that I definitely want to avoid. Let's just hang out <laughs> for a little while longer until we actually get a full-on navy.
Kind of risky. Try to move these ships around. I heard rebellion. Alright, come on, cores. Let's make this happen. Let me get our missionaries started. We can end the war with Conum Berno and Congo. Oh no, Francis embargoed us. <laughs> it's a shocking display of not being friendly. Okay, we lost our morale guy. I guess I'll take the fort defense guy. I really prefer discipline or morale at this point, but what can you do? You get what you get and you don't throw fit. It's something that my kids are always told at school. Ottomans have entered into war. Hmm. <laughs> now our vassals are Hungary, Lithuania. Hungary's really having some problems here. France actually has an army over here. Okay. There's something for one of our armies to go do. I mean, we still have a lot of land to feed back to Hungary. I haven't done anything with the Lithuania project. There's stuff to do, you know? No, Genoa. Unless you're willing to give me that province. We might be able to do it by blockading this area. Is that your capital? No. Fine. We'll take the reduce overextension just because I know it's about to go away. And we're not going to take any more provinces until it's gone, so... Free advisor that we'll never use. Congo, a concession of defeat is like the farthest thing from my uh, list of acceptable outcomes. Our glorious armies are under attack in Kanem Borno. We'll take the reduced prestige because we're at war. Easy to get it back. He suffered from Genoa, shocking. It's about time to end this war so we can spend some admin points. Come on, guys. There's a French army. Nice. Is France in some other wars or something? Because they don't seem to really be doing so hot. That's not good. Trying to core that, buddy. I don't like that 0% right away. Must have a lot of artillery. Or... Okay, something just changed to Shia. Whatever. Two siege value leader, that's the deal. Okay, let's roll our four siege guy up a bit. Peace offer from Congo. The answer's no. We'll peace you out when we're damn good and ready, okay? Just relax, Congo. You'll be integrated. You'll be one with us. It's not my fault you switched to Catholicism. Like a dummy. I'm just here to, you know, correct that mistake. There we go. And these other two? November. Two more months. It's not that bad. Yeah, 
They seem to have backed off a little bit. What's Portugal doing? Yeah, they're running. Peace offer from France. Nope. Oh, there's another French army here. Okay, I have another army up here, don't I? I did all that effort to raise the force limit, and I didn't do anything with it. There goes the general. That's actually okay. Unfortunately, it was our four siege guy. That's sad. I really liked him. Please be a good admiral. Whatever. It's an extra couple pips. It's better than not having one. Income Bonanza in Sevilla. Cool. Alright. You come here, deal with that. That other army is going to come down to fight the French. This army is doing nothing. We're no longer overextended. We're at 8%. This will be gone in just mere days. There's that. Achieved our mission. Not going to westernize. Not going to accept Congo's peace offer. We're going to accept full annexation, though. We'll start coring it first. That puts us at 68%. We'll peace out Khan and Borno and then keep this war going for quite a while. You know what we should do is, um, let's go ahead and let's occupy all of it. Maybe we can full piece, separate piece them. Or not full piece, sorry, full annex. I know all the words, I just can't always say them in the right order. Sometimes it's difficult. You don't understand. I talk a lot. We have well, lost a siege. How dare you, Molly? Look at all these heavies starting to form up. It's not going to go well for you, Portugal. I've put almost my entire, almost my entire navy as heavies now. We're going to make you pay for the damage that you did. Let's test out this part of the fleet. If we see a big navy, we're going to run. That's 28 ships. Probably a bit more than we want to fight. But if we can catch them separate... And that's what we want. I ignore you, Pol uh, France. Hmm. not ready to fight over on this side yet. These ships, um, maybe we can get them to combine? Are they safe? Yeah. It's just one quick hop out into the Zanzibar Strait, and then right back in. Not a big deal. We can convert them back really quick. Peace offer from Genoa. Genoa, I'm telling you again, until you're ready to just give me that province, then leave it alone. See if we can do that. It's a lot easier to, to record for YouTube, by the way, when um, when you're in the beginning of a campaign, you don't have to focus so much. I mean, it's not. There's a lot to focus on. 
Or at the end of these games, it, it gets difficult to stay focused on talking. You know what I mean? Took Timbuktu. You're probably just gonna retreat down to here. Some more conversions is always nice. You suffer from Ken and Borno. I want to wait until I have you full occupied so I can see if it's possible to just annex you outright at a reasonable price. Another one of those. So what do we have, actually? Castile's enthusiasm is low. They've got the maxed out Tiki War score. Looks like we're overall positive on battles. It'll get better. Is anyone else getting low on enthusiasm? Like, say, Portugal, for instance. Or medium. They are not willing to accept a white piece, but I'll probably end up going for white piece with Portugal. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.